it is Tuesday evening and I am heading out of town. I have a lot of errands to run today. Um, I'm about an hour behind. Wanted to get out of the house a little earlier, but we had our cat, Clipsy, the white cat that has been in my vlogs before. We had her spayed today and so Dean had to leave after work to go pick her up. And so I'm about an hour behind getting out of the house. Um, she did great. I believe um, and so hopefully hopefully I told the boys like hopefully she's feeling okay I told the boys I was like don't mess with her too much don't pick her up just pet her and love on her you know today because she's probably gonna be a little sore anyway now we won't have to stress so much about her going outside and getting out we just before we were so very careful about her accidentally getting outside because we do not want baby kittens um, and our black cat, Oliver, who you've also seen if you've watched any of my other vlogs, he has already been fixed. So we don't have to worry about him. Um, so yeah, so now she's good. Um, anyway, so we had that done today. I'm heading out of town because I want to get some things um, for the boys' Easter baskets. Um, I haven't gotten anything yet. I haven't done any shopping for that. So... They're all still at the age where they really like getting Easter baskets. Judah will be 13 in May, but I don't think he feels like Easter baskets are too kiddie-ish for him just yet. He still likes them. <laughs> so I'm going to go pick some stuff out tonight to do that. I have to run by Hobby Lobby, and there are a couple little like spring things that I'm looking for. They have a lot of their spring stuff on sale right now, so I'm going to go check that out. I need to go by Walmart and get just little odds and ends of things that I need there. Think where else? Oh, I'm gonna go to TJ Maxx because I have this stuff written down on my phone that I need to to pick up tonight. But there was a reason why I needed to go by TJ Maxx, and now I can't think of what it is. But it's on my phone, so it's all good. Um, my sister-in-law is getting married tomorrow, and so maybe while I am at TJ Maxx or Ross, I may run by Ross too. Um, I may look and see if I can find something to wear to wedding something kind of springy but not so springy that it's more like for May or June I don't know like some of the dresses that I have are like a little too summery they're short sleeved and they are short and I wouldn't normally wear them with tights or hose or anything like that so they're a little too cold for right now I could just get like a cardigan to go over one of them but then they're still I don't know maybe I could get like some sheer non-shiny pantyhose do people even wear pantyhose anymore i never wear pantyhose i do wear tights under my winter dresses fall and winter dresses but i never wear pantyhose and you know i was reading something the other day it was about the royals because i am like such a typical american i shouldn't say that for all americans there are probably a lot of americans who just don't even care about the royal family but i like to keep up with what's going on with them because that's just me anyway um it was something about how even when it's cold, they wear um, like shorter dresses. They always have pantyhose under their dresses. And so I thought, huh, maybe people still wear pantyhose or maybe that's just because that's the way they've always done it since pantyhose were invented, <laughs> maybe. And they're the royals and they still do things the old school way and that's cool, props to them. So anyhow, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I either get some pantyhose and like a cardigan to go over a dress that is short sleeved and short or I get a dress or something that is appropriate for this kind of cool spring time of the year that we are in so I don't know I'm just gonna look at those two stores see if I can find something um let me think I think that's pretty much all of the stuff I need to do tonight tomorrow before the wedding I will jump on and share the things that I picked up tonight for the boys Easter baskets and if I got like a dress or an outfit I'll share that with you too um, and any other little odds and ends that I got I'll probably share some of the decor stuff that I found from Hobby Lobby or TJ Maxx, Maxx that I do find <laughs> tomorrow I will have found it hey guys so it's Tuesday and I just got back from the gym a little while ago got the boys breakfast got our chores done and cleaned up um, around the house um, and I thought I would jump on here really quickly before the boys start needing me for help with their schoolwork um, and show you the flowers that I got yesterday when I went out of town and the little 
things that I got for the boys Easter baskets and then I picked up some clothes um, some workout stuff and some things for my sister-in-law's wedding actually this is a sweatshirt that I picked up yesterday at Ross I went to Ross instead of TJ Maxx um, for just wearing over my t-shirts when I go to the gym because it's really cold in the morning um, this is a DKNY sweatshirt and I got it for 10 bucks it was on clearance at Ross so good deal anyway I'm gonna flip the camera around and I'm gonna show you um, the clothes first then I'll show you Easter stuff and then I'll show you all of my plant stuff so a nice big kind of shopping haul for you guys today so it didn't really work out for me to flip the camera around and show you what I got I'm just gonna show you what I got like without me being in the video that was kind of weird looking anyway um, so I picked up this hoodie I don't think you can see it very well it's not even a hoodie it's a zip up hoodie and it's from become legend so it's really soft on the inside. It's, um, it feels like a nice quality material. It was on clearance for $12.99, so I couldn't really pass that up because I saw both of these shirts, this one and this one in the clearance section. It's got nice little pockets on the side. Um, it's a little longer in the back than the front. And um, oh yeah, the arms have the little like thumb, the thumb holes where you can like put it around your thumb and kind of keep the sleeves down. Anyway, um, I bought these two things so that I could have different like warm things to put on over my t-shirts when I go to the gym in the morning with Dean. I also bought this skirt. Let me scoot back so you guys can see it. This skirt, it's got the little, um, it's kind of like, I don't know what you call that. It's a lot of like embroidery and almost has like a lacy sort of look to it. I don't know what that's called, but anyway, um, it comes just below my knee. So I've got to try it on with a summery top and see what it looks like and see if it's a a good length for me because I'm short and so if things are if they hit me in the wrong place in the leg then I just look like I'm like cut in half it's really weird looking so anyway um this was only $10.99 though and so um I guess it comes up to your waist and then down right below your knee so I thought that was cute um I'll try that for summer see how that goes and then I bought this for my sister-in-law's wedding now it's kind of hard to show you guys because I really should have my camera much further back but the dress is got like see-through sort of sleeves and it's got this darker colored print so it's not too springy looking just yet I actually think you could wear this in the fall also um, but this was only $14.99 and it's got like the scrunching thing at the waist and I think this comes down right below my knee as well so I think that that'll work pretty well and then I bought this top because it's still a little chilly so I wanted this little cardigan that matches the color to go over and the cardigan was $8.99 so for just a little over $20 a whole little outfit here for spring maybe fall not sure hmm. anyway so I'm thinking that I will wear like sheer tights under this and either wear like my knee high boots or I may wear some black heels. I'm not sure. It just depends on what it looks like when I put it all on. So anyway, I'm going to try that on. And if it looks not too great, then I'll just return that and wear something else. Come up with something else to wear. Okay, so let me put these clothes away and then I'll grab the Easter stuff and show you what I got for the boys Easter baskets this year. Okay, so first while I was in Walmart, I wanted to get them... I'm trying to talk quietly because they are in their bedroom and like running around in the house. Um, so I wanted to get them some sweet treats that I could put in their basket, but not anything that's like candy because we don't really do candy. Like the boys get sugar and desserts that we make ever so often, um, but we don't do candy as a general rule. I'm sure I break that rule sometimes, but most, most of the time they do not get candy. Um, so I bought them. They love Mott's gummies. They get these when we go to our little C students things on Wednesdays, they love them. So I bought them a pack of that and I'll just kind of like divide it up between the four baskets. I got them some xylitol gum. Well, it has xylitol in it, but they like this, what is this tropical twist kind of flavor. And then I bought them some of these. It's like a peanut lovers assortment, Russell Stover, sugar-free. It's made with stevia in it. So I won't stress so much if they eat too much of this during the day on Easter. <laughs> like I would if it was a bunch of candy that they were eating. So this is the stuff that is gonna be like their sweets in the um, in the Easter baskets. So we'll try that. And then I went to Dollar Tree and I don't shop at Dollar Tree all that often, but I got a good bit of stuff, just, just fun stuff. Like I'm sure it's gonna tear up 
within the week and it's just fun for them to have their baskets all decked out with all kinds of just fun things to play with. So that's basically what this is. And all of this stuff is pretty much the same for each basket. Um, I was talking to Dean and I um, was telling him that maybe we would go and get each boy like one different more expensive item to go in each of their baskets that's kind of more personalized to them because a lot of this stuff is just the same thing. Like everybody will have the same stuff in their baskets. So anyway, I got these little finger shooting like what are they called? Well, foam things. And then you can just shoot them with your finger. That'll be fun for them. And we got all of them a water gun because they love playing with water guns when it gets warm enough. Um, throw those over there. Got everybody these little light up bouncy balls. So when you like drop it on the ground, it lights up and strobe lights kind of like a little flashing color. Um, we got everybody bug nets and they love to catch like frogs and tadpoles and little minnows and things in the creek And then they can catch lightning bugs later on if they last long enough Which I kind of doubt that they will because I feel like every net we buy that's cheap from like one of the dollar stores It always tears up, <laughs> but that's okay because it was a dollar um, Bubbles because they still love bubbles And then got them little egg chalk So each of them will get one in their basket and I'll just leave the others out and yeah, that was it this is something else I'm gonna show you guys in a second so just I'm gonna set their baskets out I'm gonna fill them with all of this fun little stuff and then I'll sprinkle the candy inside of it and then if we go get them like one big gift that's individualized for each of them that'll be like in the center of the basket I'm sure I'll show you guys what their baskets look like when I put them together but this is just the stuff that I got at Dollar Tree I think I spent like I think I spent like 20, I don't even know where, 20, $28 and like nine of it was on flowers. So less than $20 and I got a bunch of junk <laughs> because that's probably what it is for their baskets, but it'll make them happy and it'll be fun and they'll all be able to play together. And that's what matters. Them being excited and having a good time. Okay. So you guys, I had a little problem in Walmart the other day. Ooh. Let me set that down. Okay. I went in there because I had a list of stuff that I was going to buy. And one of the things that I was looking for were fresh cut flower seeds. So Dean, I told you guys in last week's video, last week's vlog, he's going to like plow and till this patch, this strip of land at the back of our property where we walk around our property. I have this like path that I like to walk. Um, and so we're just gonna start with a strip and I'm just gonna grow like really tall and short um, Flowers there that I can go and cut for fresh cut flowers for our house for little flower arrangements or whatever And so I go to Walmart and I'm looking at the seeds and you know I was totally overwhelmed because there's just seeds everywhere and I'm like Oh, I don't know what these do and I've never grown these and you know you can get overwhelmed because there's just too many choices but anyway, they also had like roots and bulbs and other little things out and I don't know if it was because I was just overwhelmed with all that was there, but I bought a ton of junk. Not junk. I call everything junk. It's not really junk. It's all good things, and I'm really happy, and I have different places that I'm going to put it. But seriously, I probably spent an hour, like, looking through this seed section and all of the plants because I was just like, oh my gosh, look at all of this stuff. And if I bought it at the nursery, like if I went to town and I bought it in a nursery, like a nice big pot, it would have been three times as much, if not more what I paid for it at Walmart because it's just like a little bulb or a little root start or something like that. So Dean's going to till the ground up back there. I'm going to plant some seeds and I'm going to plant some actual roots and bulbs. I'm going to show you everything that I got and kind of tell you where I want to put it. Um, and fingers crossed it actually works out and they grow and they don't die and it's all good. We'll see. Okay. So to start, let me show you the um, thing that I picked up at Dollar Tree. I got, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine packs of these little anemones. So I know these as windflowers. I think that's what they're called. And they're called windflowers. It's like a common name because they, they say the wind spreads them, so they spread pretty easily. Um, each pack was a dollar, and it comes with four little bulbs. And we already have some of these out in our little secret garden area. I don't know if I've, I think I showed you guys that. We were working on it one day. Anyway, that is like a work in progress. Um, eventually, we'll have hedges that line our driveway. And behind the hedge, it's kind of like this shaded, almost like quiet woodsy sort of area. And that's what I call the secret garden. 
And so we already have some of these on the far end of that area and I wanna plant more of them um, on the upper end because we don't have any of them spread to the upper end. So I bought nine packs, four little bulbs in each pack. This shows white ones and we don't have white ones here. We only have the purple. So I'm excited to see if these are purple and white. We will see. Um, it says plant now and they have summer blooms. I don't even know if these are the same ones that we already have, but if not, that's okay because we'll just see what comes from it. Okay, so then when I was at Walmart, I bought a bunch, like I said, a bunch of bulbs and roots and all sorts of things. Um, one of the things that I bought were these peonies. Is that how you say them? Yeah, I think that's how you pronounce it. Anyway, I think there are different pronunciations for it. Anyway, I love this flower and I was gonna plant these in our front bed, but it's too shady. So I'm gonna plant this pinks and purples and whites around our patio. There's gonna be like a patch in the area that goes all the way around. I'm gonna pick like a section and then I'm gonna plant these. And I've got three roots in this bag. Um, yeah, so I'm excited to see what these look like. And I think they get really tall and fall over. So I'm thinking I'll put them behind our little seating area and maybe have like a little fence kind of thing to kind of prop them up just to keep them up. And they'll smell good and they'll be so pretty for anybody who's sitting on the wall, the, the stone wall, when we get our bench built and put on there. Who knows when that's gonna be, but some point. So that, I think that's the only thing I got for that area. Um, let's see. I'm trying to think, oh yeah. So I bought this, Clematis. This is a, uh, just this was, they had like three different purple ones, but this was the prettiest one that I liked. And I got this, which is actually right outside my window over here. Um, we have like a little thing that holds like a birdhouse and a bird feeder. I think I showed you guys that in one of my last vlogs, cause there were birds everywhere where they come back for the spring. They're just all over the place over there. We can't keep enough bird seed. <laughs> but anyway, I'm gonna plant this at the bottom and just let it climb up that thing because I think that'll be really pretty because right now it's just like a big four by four post that like sticks up off the ground. Dean actually has to take it down and redo the concrete that holds it in the ground to make it more stable. And when he does that and the concrete is like firmed up and ready to go, I think I'll plant this then. So hopefully we get around to that soon because I really wanna see this start blooming. Um, so that's for that area. And then I bought, let's see, trying to find, so I got a couple of things for some other garden areas. I just need to figure out where they are. Let's see, these are all for the bat. This is it. Okay, so I got two Lily of the Valley, I guess they're roots, and then Tricertus, Tricertus, I don't know, I've never heard of this, but it's kind of a cool looking plant. But they're very um, shade tolerant plants. And the front garden bed that I just did last week in last week's vlog that I showed you guys I was working on, these will be perfect for that bed because I'm doing like pinks and purples and whites and greens all up through that bed. And these don't get a lot of these can't take a lot of sun and that whole entire bed is shaded and I love Lily of the Valley. They're just so pretty. So I'll probably plant these around one rock, plant these around another rock or a different area, throw some corabels in there to bring in a little bit more of like the pinkish purple hues. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna try that and see if that looks good in that bed. I'm trying to keep up with all these bags of plants that I have out here, making sure I've got everything in order. Okay. So for everything that's gonna go in that back strip for the cut flower garden, um, I have a bunch of perennials and I think there are some things that are gonna be annuals. So I'm just gonna kind of go through everything and show you. So I think I bought, did I buy two packs? No. Okay, so I only bought one pack of these mixed delphiniums. And let me also say that that back garden area is going to be like um, a cottage garden style. So all of the colors are gonna be very kind of like light colors, not any jewel tone colors and not any really bright, hot, wild colors. So most of them are jewel tones. So these are the delphiniums and they're the mixed variety. So you can see these are perennials will come back year after year. So these will kind of go towards the back. 
And then I got some echinacea. Now, I will also say this is not echinacea that I will be harvesting and using for medicine because I'm fairly certain it's not organic. Because it doesn't say it's organic and I didn't pay what I think I would have paid. This is like $10 for eight plants. Um, so I'm pretty sure that's not organic. When I get ready to do my herb gardens, like legit herb garden areas, um, that will be completely different. I'll be buying organic seeds and doing all that stuff. Um, this was $10 for six plants, the delphiniums. Eight plants for $10 for echinacea. I bought these. Um, I don't know, like eryngium, eryngiums? I don't even know how you pronounce that. But they are so cool looking. Are, isn't that, can you guys see that with the light not shining on them? It's like a cool looking little flower. I actually saw these in some flower arrangements when I was shopping last night. I bought some flowers for our table and these were in there and I thought, oh, that's so cool. Anyway, they are, they were $3 and there were two roots in each bag. So these are kind of lower growing. So they'll be kind of in the front of these taller plants. I got these Leatris, Leatris. They're pretty like pink little spikes. Yeah. So 16 roots, 16 roots for $5 here. And I did just buy one bag of that. Yeah. And then I got these gladiolas. Now, let me think about this. This one does have some of the deeper colors. Um, these are only, they say they're annuals. I thought gladiolas grew over and over. But anyway, $5 for 20 bulbs. I bought two packs of these because I think I want to kind of like intermix these and have some different colors. A lot of the colors of the plants I just showed you were like pinks and purples. So I really want to pull in some of these brighter like yellows and whites and there's some coral kind of orange. I don't want it all to be pink and purple everywhere because we have a lot of pink and purple around our house because I just love those. I just love those colors and the plants that I'm finding in those colors. So that's what we have a lot of. I also bought, and these again are annuals, um, two bags, three bulbs for $5 each, calla lilies, and these have the same colors as those gladiolas. So I'll split all of this up so that they're not too much of the same colors in the same spots. But these are lower growing, so they'll go again in front of the bigger plants. They're at the bottom. And then I bought these. They're kind of, they look like Black Eyed Susans, but they're not Black Eyed Susans. Redbeckia Goldstrom? Maybe that is a Black Eyed Susan. Maybe that's like the, the Latin binomial for that. I actually don't know because I don't know a lot about Black Eyed Susans other than, hey, that looks like a Black Eyed Susan. <laughs> anyway, so these are a really nice little cottage um, plant. So these are $10 for seven. So these will go in a big cluster along that back row. So I'm gonna start with this stuff. And then I also bought, I did buy some seeds. I went in to only buy seeds and I ended up buying plants. Um, but I did buy a bunch of seeds as well. So let me separate these out and I'll show you exactly what I got. And I'm trying to remember where these are gonna go. I did buy some hollyhock seeds. This is called Country Romance. So it's like mixed colors. It's got the yellow and the pink and that dark, like wine colored purpley plant. So that'll go in the back garden. Um, I'm doing a video. Can you hold on a second? Let's see. Oh yeah. So I got some lupines also. I love lupines. And aren't those such pretty colors? They match a lot of the other colors. So any of the plants that have like this similar color scheme, I'll make sure that those are broken up and that color kind of repeats itself. Um, and then any of the plants with like this brighter orange, like these gladiolas and the calla lilies, that they're kind of separated too from all of the more pastel-y kind of plants. So those are going to go back there. And then I bought this bright and bold cut flower garden mix. Now I'm not quite sure if I'm going to use all of these. Basically you have one pack of each of these in here. These zinnias and then the cosmos are super bright kind of bold colors and that's not really what I'm doing back there but I love these bells of Ireland and then these are white cosmos and I grew these white cosmos in my garden last year. They're called purity cosmos and I love them so I may do just like the white and then these um, green bells of Ireland. And then what I will probably do, now the Cosmos, if you look at them on the back, there's more of the light pink. I don't know if you guys can see that. There's more light pink than there is dark pink. So that may be okay, but I may save the zinnias and put them somewhere else where I want brighter color. Or maybe I'll give them to a friend who wants bright colored flowers in their house, around their house. Um, so yeah, so all of that goes to the back garden. 
I bought a few things for my garden over by the shop. It's like blues, yellows, whites, and orange colors. And I don't have a lot of blue. I do have I do have um, some delphiniums over there that are called Aurora Blue Delphiniums. They're like a really dark purple, like bluish kind of colors. And we'll see what they look like when they come up this year. But I also got some of these forget-me-nots because they're a pretty blue color. And I think that that would look really good over there. Now, this doesn't say, but are forget-me-nots annuals or perennials? This doesn't say. I'm going to have to look that up. But it says it looks really good with yellow, which is why I picked yellow and blue together. I really like those colors together. My house has a lot of yellow and blue. Anyway, that's for the other garden. And I also bought these Blue Star Columbines. And I don't know where I'm going to plant them, but they're very pretty. And I want them somewhere around my property. So, I got them. Um, the last thing that I got are these early blooming flower garden. I got two packs. And so again, there's a pack of each of these in here. And basically what you do is you make, well, I should have, <laughs> there's a pack of each of these three and then it ends up making this. So I have in front of our garage, which is being converted into a study. We are taking our garage door out. I talked about this project and we were originally gonna do um, carriage doors that opened up. But then we decided we don't really want it to look like a garage. We want it to look more like a room. So we're going to put French doors. We're going to build it in a little bit and put French doors that will just open out when we're doing school during the day or if I just want to sit in there and read and have the doors open. Um, but on either side of those doors, I have some containers that I typically will like fill with things in the beginning of the year and they're really nice. And so this year I thought instead of doing what I normally do, which is like grass and foliage, I'll do flowers and just see how it goes. So these have lark spurs in the center. Then I don't even know how you pronounce that, this flower around the middle part. And then you have the uh, alyssum, alyssum, sweet alyssum, I think that's what that's called, is on the bottom. And I actually have a box of this alyssum, like a big old box that I bought at a dollar store somewhere. And I thought I would plant that as like a ground cover or an edging somewhere because I have so much of it. Anyway, I've got two packs of these because I'm going to try that in those containers. And that is all the plants that I bought at Walmart and a little bit at Dollar Tree last night. So I'm excited to get all of this stuff planted. I'm a little overwhelmed <laughs> also. Um, we have a while before I can really plant anything. So Dean will go out and till and take care of the soil. And then I will kind of figure out what I'm doing here. I am going to have to go ahead and start seeds that I need to start before I put them out a little um, right here and just like, a, I guess the next week or so. And then other things I can direct sow into the ground, which is great for me because I really stink at starting seeds. I would like to have a greenhouse with grow lights and heating mats and all that stuff. I think that that would help me to be able to grow things from seed better, but you know, I don't know, maybe not, but anyhow. So these are the plants. These are the Easter things that I got, clothes that I got. So tonight we're going to my sister-in-law's wedding. I will try to throw in some pictures after this video of us while we're there or any little clips that I can take. We'll see. Um, and then I don't really know for sure what we're doing for the rest of the week, but I will touch base with you guys and keep you up to date with whatever we have going on this week. Um, just because that's what this video is. These are just vlogs of our life and things we have going on and ways for me to kind of capture memories with my kids and remember what our life was like and things like that. So anyway, I'm super grateful for you that you're here watching and kind of coming along with us. Um, anyway, I will talk to you guys in a little while. Bye. <laughs>